briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1998, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of Clinton v. City of New York, which centered on the notion that the president cannot cancel parts of a law passed by Congress if it alters the intended meaning of the law. The controversy began in 1997, when President Clinton utilized the Line Item Veto Act to eliminate specific provisions from the Balanced Budget Act, causing harm to health care providers and Snake River Potato Growers, Inc. Following a lawsuit, the district court determined that the Line Item Veto Act was unconstitutional and violated Article I of the Constitution, as well as disrupted the balance of power among the three branches of government. The Supreme Court ultimately agreed that the cancellations made by the president were unconstitutional and violated the presentment clause. In response, appellees who claimed injury from these cancellations initiated a second lawsuit. This lawsuit concluded that the statute was invalid and prompted expedited review. The court then ruled that the appellees had the right to challenge the act's constitutionality and ultimately concurred that the cancellation procedures outlined in the act breached the presentment clause. The Supreme Court held that the Line Item Veto Act was unconstitutional, as it granted the President the power to alter enacted statutes, thus violating the Constitution's Article 1, Section 7. The Court maintained that any changes to the President's role in determining the final text of a law must adhere to amendment procedures outlined in Article 5 instead of relying on legislation. The District Court's judgment was affirmed with no consideration for alternative holdings regarding the balance of powers among the three branches of government. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.